I started recording. Okay, that's when let's start. We will make session. Okay. See, uh, Harsha, you know about anything about ETL? Extra transform load. Okay. So why we use ETL and all? Do you have any idea? To like what I say to data collection modulation something like that. See, generally for the data purpose, we use a ETL concept. Okay. So, uh, see, if you observe in our day to day life, right, we have many activities a person can do. See, a person can go to a bank and withdraw amount, a person, uh, I mean, school fees, everything extra, extra, so on. So, everything is there. Okay. So, in order to record uh, such information, right, so the data warehouse system is required. Okay. So, once the data warehouse system is required, we need an ETL. Okay. So, okay. you may. Yeah. Yeah, you might got what is data warehouse. OK, see, for example, you know about you have you have, have you heard about the warehouse systems like in general? I was I was telling about in general. Have you heard about warehouse. the word warehouse somewhere? Yeah, warehouse is the place where the data are being data are everything will be stored or extra or something. No, uh, can you give me one uh, any live example or any real time example for that? Uh, for example, like in a grocery shop, we store some things in barrows, right? Uh, something else regarding to something else. See, now if you take a grocery shop, let me, you yeah. can, we can take one grocery store, okay? Okay. We have in our place, we have one central store, okay? From where all the uh, resellers and we will take and collect from that. Okay, one dealer will be there. See, for example, if yeah. you're dealing with, see, example, you are dealing with some rice brand, okay? Let's take it as some Lalita brand something. Okay. So for that, we will be having a central a central repository. Generally, in data warehouse terms, we'll be calling as a central repository. So the central store will be there. So from there, uh, the stock will be collected to different, different stores. Okay. Okay. So the central system, which is present in the city or place, right? It is known as a data warehouse. Okay, got it. Okay, say so I'm just telling you in a real time example. Okay, the central system. So, data warehouse is a central repository of a data systems. Okay, okay. So, uh, once, once, see, data warehouse, how it will be, right? Let me know if my words are visible. If it is small, let me make it big. Okay, let this fine. See, data warehouse is nothing but data warehouse is equal to generally ETL plus BA. BA is nothing but business intelligence. Okay. Sir, I can't view anything, sir. I can't view the screen. Okay. No, no, okay. Just a minute, I will restart. I will reshare my screen, okay. No sure, sure. Let me know, let me no, no. No, I can see, but when you type word and nothing is there. Yeah, now I can see. DWH you can see, right? Yeah, DWH is equal to VA plus ETL. Okay, now see DWH is nothing but data warehouse. Data warehouse is a central repository system. Okay, okay. so data warehouse is nothing but, okay, ETL plus BA. BA is nothing but business intelligence. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
no i have told you about data warehouse how the data warehouse with real time example okay see in data warehouse we will be having a various kinds of data generally if you if you want to say in etl terms right data inside a data is known as a data warehouse okay let's Sorry? assume Sorry. data inside Sorry. a data okay okay is known as a data warehouse okay okay so in data warehouse right we will be having a various types of data like transactional data uh, and some heterogeneous data some x x number of data will be there in data warehouse okay so uh, if you see right see from the data warehouse uh, we will have various source systems in data warehouse generally okay so the the source systems may be like oracle database sql server etc 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 okay so okay. in order to make the data proper and clear for a business purpose right etl tools are used okay okay so this is how etl comes into picture in data warehouse okay okay so in market right we have some etl tools like informatica the current one which is trending one informatica okay uh, i will type here Informatica, data stage. Talent, SAP something, etc. We have something. Okay. So these okay. are the these are all the ETL tools. Okay. So based upon these ETL tools, right? The developer will do the uh, etl process i mean he will make the data clear he will use the various i mean uh, i mean the developer will use all these tools okay as a tester right we will be having only the read access for this um, etl tools okay so tester what he can do right he will just check whether the jobs has been particularly uh, i mean executed correctly or not okay okay yeah so that is the tester rule tester thing okay now next go to the bi bi part okay so bi is nothing but business intelligence okay okay so business intelligence is all about uh, i mean showcasing a report it's like a report one see for example if you are doing something you want to show in a report format okay for example uh, if you are you are a rice dealer something i told you right take that yeah. example okay so you have sold this many things in a day in a month in a quarter in a year etc etc so for everything you can generate a report mm. okay you got it right if you have yeah, any yeah, question yeah. just let me know see uh, that is about bi so for bi also we have many tools in the market okay so let me tell you like uh, uh, power bi Power BI, Tableau, okay, Cognos, etc. Okay. So these are the reporting tools. Okay. So in data warehouse systems, right? Uh, hope you got this data warehouse ETL and plus BI, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, so see, data warehouse is the central repository of a data database systems. Okay, so now let's start with the ETL part. Okay, so ETL is all about uh, extract, transform, and load. Yeah, generally. Okay. ETL stands for extract, transform. transform and load okay hope you got this right yeah yeah i got it yeah so uh, let we can take this one okay data warehouse okay see uh wait let me see whether we can create any picture like structure Thank you. 
See, these are the in ETL terms, we will say it as a source. Okay. 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 So generally, the, see, assume these boxes are various source system. Okay. 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 Okay, one will be uh, Oracle server, one will be SQL server, one will be a flat file, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Okay. So from there, okay, uh, the data will be moving into here. Okay. Assume this line as ETL, ETL layers. Okay. This part is all about ETL. From there, okay. uh, I mean, the ETL process will happen in this line. So the data will be collecting from all these layers. I mean, all these source systems. I mean, I'm saying, telling about the data warehouse architecture. And then uh, data flows to one more part. I assume it. This is about. Uh, we can say the data warehouse layers. These are the source systems. This is the ETL part. And this is the data warehouse layers. And from there, it will go to the target systems. Mm -hmm. Target systems, nothing. But see, in ETL part, right, we'll be having a various projects like migration project. I mean, if you see about the, everywhere, there will be an ETL. See, if you see in a banking domain, there is an ETL. And in insurance domain, there is an ETL. Retail, healthcare. So everything, there is a data. Okay. So when there is a data, the ETL, ETL, most probably the ETL will be there. Okay. This is one of the finest testings. Okay. ETL testing. And, uh, and also the easy one to learn. Okay. okay. So uh, I will prepare your architecture also. Okay. No worries. I will give you a document as well. I will sit this weekend and I will prepare for you. No issues. Thank you. you understand this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. So this is this is where the ETL part and these are the data warehouse layers and then the data will flows to the target systems. Okay. And then uh, one more part is nothing about a uh, BA for uh, I mean business intelligence. Okay. Okay. So the, in these source systems, right, we will be getting a various types of data. Generally, we will say it's a, we will say it as a transactional data. So the concept about transactional data is nothing about OLTP. Okay. okay. OLTP is all about online transaction processing. Okay. So from this, we will be getting a various transactional data. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, I will tell you one example for what is transactional data. If you get confused over here. Okay. So if you are going to a bank, right? Mm -hmm. Today you, you went to a bank. Okay. So you have some account in HDFC or any other account. I mean, any other bank. Okay. So you went yeah. to an ATM today. Mm -hmm. You have withdrawn uh, some 500 amount. Assume it. Okay. okay. That is a transaction actually, which you have done by you. Mm. Okay. And tomorrow, uh, again, you have withdrawn a 500 rupees. Okay. Okay. So these are the two transactions which has been done by you. Yeah. Okay. So these two transactions has been recorded in a table at the back end. Mm. Okay. See, at the back end, they'll be recording in a table. So, uh, so on, so Sayarsha. So you will be having one customer ID. You have withdrawn 500 rupees. See, so mm -hmm. that you can in uh, if you open your net banking and all, right? You can see it, how much amount you have withdrawn and all, etc. Individually. Okay. As an individual record. So mm -hmm. these transactional data will be presented over here, and these transactional data will go through various transformation logics and load into loading into a target system. That is all about ETL. 
okay okay so let me explain you see these are the various source systems mm -hmm. in middle we have an etl part see, these are the various okay. systems this we have an etl part this line is all about etl part mm -hmm. okay. so the what etl is doing here right extracting the data from these various source systems mm. okay and then okay. It, see and then it is uh, referring to the business documents and it is transforming the data into data warehouse systems okay and then in data warehouse systems we have been analyzing the data as per the business standards okay okay once uh, once the transformation logic is done right the data i mean the data will be loaded into different layers for analyzing we'll go through in the next sessions for all these layers okay okay sir what will be there i was just giving you a brief about it okay yeah uh, yeah, yeah i got it yeah once the transformation is completed in these layers right uh, mm -hmm. it, will, it will just move to the data to the target system which is a bi okay do in the sense load mm. okay so that is all about etl you got it right okay. yeah yeah i got it want i can explain you one more time no no i got it like uh, from source it will be moving into the etl from no. etl the data will be uh, uh, data will be like extracted transform and loaned and then it will be moving into the data warehouse systems yeah and then from data warehouse systems it will be moving on to the uh, business standards that is the uh, target system as well exactly yeah i got it so now you understand this uh, what this, this is about right what the yeah, ideal yeah. is about. yeah yeah but so, uh, if i get any architecture something like that it uh, ah, like i will prepare for you. no worries no worries i did not got a time actually today and yesterday but no, tomorrow i will no prepare worries. For you. no worries yeah. okay yeah i will yeah. give you the brief architecture mm. okay i will share you the document as well no worries okay whatever we are discussing on daily basis i will give you the document no worries i will prepare sure. for you and i will sure. give you you can go yeah. through it yeah 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 so in order to go through all this process right we will be following these tools in the market we are using okay ETL tools are about informatica data stage talent and business intelligence is about power bi tableau cog etc okay okay so this is all about yeah. the introduction to uh etl data warehouse and bi how uh each are interrelated to each other so that's how they are interrelated to each other mm -hmm. okay okay oh, ganesh i uh, hope you it's fine right uh, yeah yeah okay so uh, we have few topics in data warehouse systems okay if you want we can go to, we can i will just give you a brief introduction about the topics okay yeah definitely sir yeah okay see in data warehouse see in order to we see if you want to create a, any data warehouse system or if you want to any as a tester right how we can do we can do in a database yeah okay so in database we will be having a the data will be in the form of tables Mm. Okay, I mean the horizontal will be columns, uh, and the vertical will be rows. Okay, you know right how the table looks like. Yeah, yeah, I can. Excel yeah. now. Ah, uh, Excel. Just assume it. You, uh, the the table will be in the form of rows and columns. Mm. Okay, so uh, from various sources in data warehouse, right? Uh, I mean for ETL purpose, uh, there will be two set of tables. Okay. okay mainly generally we will be calling as two set of tables okay one is the fact table and the other is a dimension table okay see we, we can discuss in example about this i'm just giving you a brief about it okay yeah 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 these tables say dimension these tables will be loaded in data warehouse in the form of schemas okay 
no don't get confusion we can discuss in detail okay just giving a brief about it okay no no worries yeah these tables will be loaded in a data warehouse systems in the tables in the form of schemas mm -hmm. okay so in etl we have two two schemas mainly okay one is star schema and other is no flex schema okay okay and other is no flex schema okay so uh, table and dimension table right i will give you with an example just i will tell you the brief about these two tables okay sure okay see just a fact table is all about right i will give you one real time example okay uh like we have one table with a column so on a b c d something like and one more table with values okay in that values uh, we will be having a amount uh, i mean in that we will be having a values like 100 200 300 400 mm -hmm. okay so can you give me the probability what that 100 will be what that 500 will be oh, oh that like 1 by 5 it is not like that see i mean not probability in the sense see that 100 might be amount that 100 might be a length and breadth that 100 might be a uh, anything anything we don't know Hmm. It may be hundred centimeters or hundred meter or hundred no, kilometers. It may be centimeters. It may be a uh, that is what amount rupees, a dollars, etc. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um. So this fact table will have the columns like that hundred, two hundred, three hundred. We don't know what it is all about. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the dimension table, right? We will be having a proper information about the fact table, whether it is a rupees or whether it is a length and breadth, whether it is a uh, etc. Whatever it may be. Okay. Okay. How we can do these two, right? In fact table, we'll be having a primary key. In dimension table, we'll be having a foreign key. Okay. Okay. So we can come, we can start uh, slowly. We can go through that primary key and foreign key as well. Okay. Based upon these two keys, these two tables will join and give you a proper structure to your table. Yeah, like proper content. In fact table, there will be num uh, like there will be numbers on dimension table. It will denotes the like denotions like uh, what it is, whether it is length, uh -huh. breadth, or height, or rupees, or something like that. Etc. So okay. once fact table and dimension table are joined together, right? Hmm. See, let me tell about you only. Uh, let me we can say that uh, rice which we are doing so fact mm. table will have i mean what is the con i mean total stock came into the central repository mm. okay so for example 100 it, days of rice for, we got yeah. today. like okay. fact table it will be like 100 20 25 30 uh, something like that but in dimension yeah. table it will be like kg g uh, uh, milligram okay. something like that see fact table we have got 100 kg rice today oh. okay so fact table will send that information to i mean different stores the central table will send i mean those stock to different stores mm. 200 kg to one store 300 kg to one store 400 kg to one store mm. so those information will be tracked in the dimension tables see you are a, okay. you are a you are a store dealer for one of the store dealer you will get stock from central table so one dimension table will be there for you I am one more dealer. So one more dimension table will be there for me mm. to in order to track my recorder. Mm. Okay. So this fact table and dimension table based upon this fact table and dimension table, these schemas will be there. These schemas will be, I mean, prepared. We can, we can let you know the architecture. I mean, uh, first the star scheme and snowflake schema. Okay. See, star okay. scheme is all about the fact table at the center surrounded by the dimension, few set of dimension tables. So the fact table at the center is like, now I, as I told you, right, the central repository of a store. And then it is surrounded by center of four, four different set of dimension tables. I mean, four dealers. Assume it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. So it will be looking mm. in the form of a star. That okay, is a, got it. In the form of a star, which is known as a star mm. scheme. Yeah, like in the in the center it will be like fact table and then it is surrounded by four dimension table i mean for example, in the form of a star 
Uh, okay, I got it. Okay, which is for a star example, schema. Yeah, uh. for example, uh, yeah. in star schema, like yeah. the central repository, in the central repository, 100 kgs of rice will be there. For example, you, me, and Ganesh will be there, and one more person is there, four. Yeah. And then we will be getting information like uh, in the fact table, it will be in giving information to the all dimension table stating that 100 kg rice has been RID to the central repository exactly. system. Exactly. Mm. I mean, okay. I, I was, see, for your understanding purpose, I was just giving you a real time example. Okay. Hope yeah, you yeah, can... yeah. I, even I said in an example only, but now I understand what is it is. Okay. So yeah. the star schema, right? Okay. What I told you, right? The fact table at the center set, surrounded with a set of dimension tables, as I told you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the design will be okay. looking in the form of a star. Mm. Okay. okay, which is known as a star schema. And then snowflake okay. schema, right? Okay, mm. fact table at mm. the center, surrounded by the mm. dimension tables, and those dimension tables will be surrounded by the sub-dimension tables. Okay. Okay, see, now the okay. same example, you take it, 100 kg rice, we both are, we four are the dealers. Okay. Okay, for our shops. So from our shops, we are selling into different uh, customers. So, okay. for example, some X is an customer. Okay, I sold 2 kg rice to him. See, if you mm. go to a supermarket also, any supermarket mm. also, if you are buying a 2 kg of rice, it will be recorded there. The stock with which they have and the stock which they sold. Okay. You got it, right? Mm -hmm. Even more information will be there in the Snowflake demo. Ah, for that is example, what? whatever for example whatever things i sold in the will be there in the snowflake schema but not in the star schema star schema will be is giving the information whatever we did in the central repository system mm. see don't assume like that it is not there but in example see the star schema in fact table might be you are the fact table now mm. if you are selling now you are the fact table you have a stock with you your customers mm. are the dimension tables Got it. It is not mm -hmm. uh, like that. Okay, just an example. I am saying for you, mm -hmm. for your understanding. It is not okay, star okay. scheme only. It should not be only the dealers and all. In fact, you you are the factable now. Okay. Okay. Got it. You are the factable now. Okay. You are dimension table and your customers. Okay. And my and my customers are the dimension table. Ah, now in the example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. In Snowflake schema, there might be two set of dealers. For your mm. understanding purpose, I'm just saying. So hope you mm -hmm. got this concept, right? The yeah, yeah I got it. Incoming mm -hmm. tests, we can go in detail. No issues. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. We can see with the sure. architecture and all. Yeah, yeah. But uh, with the pictorial representation, it will be easy for us ah. to understand, I guess. Yeah, yeah. See, I don't, I did not bought a time actually to prepare. But no, uh, yes, I'll prepare you. No worries. Okay. Yeah, defi definitely, definitely. So you got this star schema, snowflake schema. Yeah. So once I prepare this, uh, uh, the presentation right, you can easily understand yeah 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 i can now okay. it is somewhat clear but with the picture represent it more easier for me to understand yeah sure sure no worries we can do that okay yeah we can i will i will prepare for you no worries okay so this is all about etl and this is all about the tables which are processing in data warehouse okay so yeah, today yeah. you can just go through all these topics which we have discussed now yeah okay if you have any doubts yeah. come back to me okay mm. but See, I will be telling with real-time examples so that you can, you can understand easily. Yeah, yeah. Because we can remember it and we can mm -hmm. relate it as well. Yes, exactly. That is what. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. If you have any questions, come back to me tomorrow. Just note it or you can ping me. In as of, play you. Yeah, as of now, I'm okay. I'm very okay. good. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. okay, fine. We can... I mean, you can go through these topics, okay, for now. Yeah, yeah definitely, I'll do. So if you want, in detail, no, I, can, I need to prepare all the stuff and all. Okay, tomorrow, once yeah. we start our session, we will just revise our topics and we will go through the next things, okay? Yeah, uh, can you... Recording is done, no? Recording, you can uh, stop the recording, right? Uh, 